Time for the ProSeed Halftime Report. If you need seed, think ProSeed. Join us today, District Sales Manager Tyler Campbell. Great to have you on the show, man. Appreciate Let's it. talk about the Right Stuff program. We just wrapped up Veterans Day. You guys do a lot of great things with ProSeed for our vets. The Right Stuff program is a, a program that we come up with as our way to say thank you to the vets and the currently serving uh, military forces out there. So if they're involved in production agriculture and they're customer of ours, we give them uh, a thank you note at the end of the year. And with along with that thank you note was a gift from, from ProSeed and all the staff there. So um, great response from it. We had uh, a great uh, a great number of people that used it and, and thought it was great. And we got a lot of good, uh, good response from it. And we're going to continue to do that going into next year. So I'm assuming they just call you and say, hey, look, I served or I'm serving. And then you go, okay, guys, we're going to hook you up with a gift at the end of the year kind of Pretty thing. much how it worked. Um, they just worked with uh, the district sales managers like myself to verify their service. And then we pushed it up to up to the leadership and they went ahead and took care of it for us. So. Oh, we've had some uh, wacky weather, if you will, <laughs> so, you know, to put it mildly. So yeah. uh, talk a little bit about harvest and how that's going because of the weather. Okay, well, in South Dakota and Southwest North Dakota where I work, um, it's been tough. You know, we've had some uh, moisture, some late moisture and some weird snow that's uh, put everybody behind. So it's been kind of a slow go. So we're hoping here, I know we're gonna have great weather coming up for a week or so. So we're hopefully get a lot of that a lot of that crop off the field and, and into the bins where it needs to go. Good stuff. Anything else you want to add? It's been great, great year, and, and we look forward to next year. Go Bison. Amen. Thank you, All Tyler. Right. Appreciate it. Great to have you here, man. You All right, you can always find out more as well at Proceed.net. Again, that's Proceed.net. Stick around. Much more coming up right here on the Proceed Halftime Report. To the proceed halftime report north dakota state leading southern illinois 35 to 14 let's get right to the highlights yeah can't waste any time uh <laughs> bison kicking the ball off in this one and something we haven't seen all year long jaquan burton here back for the kick returns it 100 yards yeah and i uh, hope you were in your seats early in this one because this first quarter featured a lot of stuff going on here and Hard to tell exactly what happened with the Bison here, but you missed one lane, and this guy's fast, and a couple missed tackles, and he's off to the races. That's not the way you wanted to start out on senior day, all the emotion running high, and then Southern Illinois makes a big statement right away. Needless to say, the fire was lit. It's 7-0 SIU, but the Bison will respond, and they respond quickly. Ty Brooks here on a 36-yard touchdown run. Good job by Ty Brooks to keep his feet moving. He goes into the traffic, jumps out, and finds the open field, and that's a, you're not going to catch Ty Brooks in the open field. It's 7-7, and the Bison get the ball back right away. Again, stick to Christian Watson on this one, a 48-yard completion. Oh, and I tell you what, Christian probably wants this one back. He's, there's nobody within the area code of him, and he just stumbles down and Tips it to himself, does a great job to make the catch. So close. Easton <laughs> Stick will finish it off. The senior with a touchdown makes it 14-7 in DSU. SIU has offense, though. Matt DeSomer to Rafi Leonard here on a 59-yard pass to complete a 4-yard, 75-yard drive. Poor it's play. Just, just, just too good from Southern Illinois. We knew that their offense was good. We knew that they could put up points. We've seen it. And the Bison defense is seeing it, too. Well, the Bison respond with their own four-play 75-yard drive. Stick to Nate Jensen here, 60 yards, a targeting call on this play as well. Yeah, Southern Illinois player just headbutting Easton Stick. He got ejected from the game. But Nate Jensen with touchdowns in back-to-back -back weeks, that's a big one there to give NDSU the momentum. Makes it 21-14. Greg Menard recovers a fumble here on the 22 to put the Bison back in driving position. That looked like Stanley Jones getting in there, maybe forcing that fumble, but good job by Greg to jump on that and giving NDSU's offense another short field to work with. The very next play, stick to Ben Ellison on a 22-yard touchdown pass, his seventh touchdown on 11 receptions at this point. In Southern Illinois, they just don't have the defensive backs to cover right now, and that's the result that you're going to see. They it's, just don't have the guys. Especially after that targeting call. Well, yeah. Robbie Grimsley getting in here on the Senior Day festivities, an interception, his 15 of his career right there yeah first of two for Robbie in the first half and that was a big one too uh, Southern was kind of moving the ball a little bit the Bison defense comes up with a big play finally to the second quarter here <laughs> stick to Darius Shepard 31 yard touchdown pass here again these Bison wide receivers are just so open I'm sure they're probably confused with how open they are they, they, they have never seen this. Darius Shepard now 17th career touchdown reception tied for seventh all-time with Heckendorf and then the Bison again 
coming up with a big defensive stop. Robbie Grimsley with another interception. And Robbie just playing center field there does a good job of finding that football and bringing it down. Yeah, his fifth of the season. That's a team high now, 16th of his career. He's tied with Trey Dempsey in the record book. That's his old buddy. Let's take a look at the halftime stats brought to you by the North Dakota Certified Seed Producers. And when you look at it, the tail of the tape there, there was only seven points scored in that second quarter. What a ho-hum quarter that was. 28 to 14 after one. Southern Illinois shut out in that second quarter. Easton Stick, 266 passing yards. He has been electric today. All right. Good, good to add there. Also those turnovers, too. We're going to step aside. We come back. We'll take a look around the Missouri Valley as those first half stats brought to you by your North Dakota certified seed producers. Still much more to come here on the Proceed Halftime Report. Back inside the Proceed at Halftime Report. Let's take a look at scores going around the Missouri Valley Football Conference as North Dakota State leads Southern Illinois 35-14. to uh, Going to show you a, one of the finals uh, right away, if we could bring those up. There we go. 35-28, Youngstown State is a victim to Illinois State. That game really meaningless. The one that does mean something is that one right below it. Indiana State pulls off the upset over Western Illinois, if you call it an upset. Now Indiana State moves firmly into the bubble. Western Illinois, for all intents and purposes, they've got five wins. They are out of the playoff conversation. Let's take a look at some of the other games that will be going on. South Dakota State leads South Dakota 35-14 to in Northern Iowa, just underway with Missouri State. Again, what does all this mean? Well, we'll find out tomorrow during the selection show. That happens at... 11.30 Central Time. Yeah, change that time on you this year. <laughs> change the time. It's 11.30 Central Time on ESPNU. We'll still have the coaches show uh, at 10.30. That'll do it for the Proceed Halftime Report. Stay tuned. Second half right around the corner.